All right, so out here um, with uh, Chief Baker doing a little bit of testing on this uh, XT2, and one of the things that's kind of nice um, is there's an alarm, and I can see this definitely helping out in search and rescues. Now we just set up something very simple. It's kind of chilly out here tonight, and so we just want to do a simple test, but this would also work if you just get a small detection. Now what I'm going to do is I, I, right now I'm just having to look down at an open field, and I'm going to pan up, and I have the alarm set to tell me if it picks up anything kind of warm, a little bit like a warm body or something. I'm going to pan up, and as soon as he comes in the picture up top there, we're going to see what happens. So I don't know if you could see that. It immediately picked him up, and it set, showed me a, a visible uh, and audible alarm. So I'm going to go back down here, bring him back into the picture again. So you can hear it sends me an audio tone, and it shows a red flashing light. So pretty neat, uh, pretty good stuff. So you could take and take and really just set it to whatever your your search area is, the cold temperature, and just set it just a little bit above that to help you find and uh, locate any kind of parts. Now obviously this won't work everywhere. It is detecting the hottest thing that it finds, and if it sets up finds something above that temperature, um, but. Uh, if you had something say like a, a light a street light or a car or something like that this wouldn't work uh, but in some cases like open fields and in the woods stuff like that uh, you got some guys up there in Wisconsin where this will probably work year-round um, I don't think the ground ever thaws out up there but uh, anyway pretty nice feature uh, another tool in the toolbox talk to you later